Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> Welcome aboard Pirates Here your captain Musashi again for one more video for a moment. I just forgot the introduction <laughs> So in today, this is going to be like a very fast video I'm going to introduce you the basics of the one piece treasure cruise if you have started already this game like one week or two day this video is perfect for you so First things first, you will have some units and you will summon and you will get all of that, right? Then you will check some units have different volume stars. Some of them have five stars, some of them have four stars and some of them will have six stars. How we separate units from that? So four stars, they can evolve to five stars we call them rare recruits okay then we have units that sometimes you will pull them as a five star and then ca they can evolve to six star units those are the legend units and they usually come with um, no they come from the um, the red poster you get from your pools right if you come here you are doing your pool right and then the unit will drop as a red poster if you see a red poster it means it's a legend right um, this is a legend six stars this is a legend this one as well this is not a legend this is a five star unit but yeah you will get that like units that are um, five star or less they can or they come with a yellow poster okay and legends will come with a red poster now let's just briefly break it down everything you you need to know about units in this game right um, you can assist you assist you wait you can compare let's say that you can compare uh, these units or this type of game like all other type of gacha games okay there's nothing too much different maybe a, a couple terms or of course the way you play of course is completely different from the others but here you will have on the top on this part right you will have the information of the class the unit is so we work with classes and we work with types okay let me show you here on my filter so i come here and i select filter and i will have types of units there are the colors right um and then we have the classes right the classes uh, it does not say the name uh below the the icon but you will learn with time the more you play the more you will learn of course pressing the unit and check the class is always over here right this is very awesome right okay so this is the basic you need to know for playing this game because when you, we press to see captain ability oops excuse me so when we press to see captain ability that is going to be here right that is a question that all you as a new players do when we start playing you come here to edit your crew and you want a very strong team right so how can you create your strong team first you press on the unit you want to be the captain right uh, let me show you because here on edit crew you will have here the captain and the captain is going to be the unit that is going to give the ability to the whole team okay so that being said you press on the unit that you want to be the captain but before that you come here and you press on captain ability details then you read what is doing what is happening here let me already say to you 
that four times this number, four times or higher, is already a good captain for, captain for you to go. Usually the captains will have types they boost, right? Or they have classes they boost. Let me show you another example, or uh, this one example. So Don Flamingo here, I click on details and he boosts driven characters attack. So I would of course make a team with the driven units. You can see the icon here, you just have to like press, put him on the team, go to the filter, right, come here. I will clear everything, pressing on, select all of that thing. I will click on the icon that is matching with the driven type class, excuse me. And then I click OK and my game will show me uh, all the units I have with that class. Okay, that is the most important thing you need to know. Then of course you can short by every... Uh, type you you prefer like if you prefer from favorites getting date level rarity i, I put it by type because it's, it's more organized in my eyes dual units will be the first then will be the reds then the the greens then the blue then the the yellow and for for last the purple unit so for me i prefer like that you organize the way you prefer it, right? And there we go. So, keep uh, keeping the, uh, the, the chatting we were about the captain ability, right? When you see the captain ability, you will now build your team based on that. You just need to read a little bit, right? Because there are different captains. Let me show you uh, this one. I already show you two type of captains, but we have the third type of captain. And why I'm separating by that? Because this captain does not require uh, any color, does not require any type, uh, any class. Uh, for your team to work, he's going to basically boost your team, no matter color, no matter class. Okay, so we have some captains like that. Like this snakeman, he does the same thing. He boosts strength characters attack, but he will boost uh, their attack by five times uh, and boost other characters by 375. He is also what we call a rainbow captain. Okay, so all you need to do is search a little bit and try to find out which is going to be the captain that you want to use, comparing the unit you like more on the beginning because on the beginning you are not going to be able to join uh, most of the difficult content we have in the game right grand voyage uh, main story is where you are going to play the most right um, and main story does is not required a big team so you just go to the main story and you like build the team you prefer and you can go around all the map from the beginning to the bottom right and you can enjoy everything you have here until you finish once you finish and you reach level 150 then yes uh, when you reach this side of the map the event example right you have a bunch to do we have the check this check is like a daily event that we have or something that uh, is current available, but maybe um, they have a short time to be here. So you just to pay attention to that. Power up is some farming content you can have. I have a couple of videos uh, talking about this. Uh, this we use for XP farming and other stuff, but those videos can be on the link on the description can be on the description, the link is going to be there. <laughs> and you have this one, you should do this. They are very strong units, not gonna lie. They are going to help you out a lot. They are completely free to play and you can have all the straw hats in less than one week. Then we have the events. The events, we have the clash. 
this is where you are going to start struggle but that is going to be for another video not for this one this one was more to introduce you um, the units type and units class it's good to know that you have some stats here right the hp the attack of the unit the stats of the attack right rcv is the recovery because you can eat some meat orbs that sometimes appear i don't i know you must you sh maybe don't know what meat orbs are but don't worry just pay attention to the next guide that i'm going to do because i'm going to be very briefly on my guides and you will learn a lot in just a couple uh, videos okay then you have some potential abilities this is like a thing that is more advanced for people that play in one month okay so you don't need to worry about this right now the uh, about your unit of course this right here you can just press on any of the icons right if you press here you basically will read this is bind resistance right uh, you have resistance on bind uh, this is what we call active powers they will help you out in some debuffs uh, enemies can give to you so this game we have that mechanic I would say um, where enemies are going to gain buffs or they are going to give you debuffs and you have to fight them like that right and you have to deal damage to them but you also have to fight some gimmicks that you have some mechanics and this is a puzzle game just for you to know <laughs> then to finish right we have also specials about the units so spe specials when you click on them right you, this one is a, is a very bad example because we have two of them so let me pick another unit like jack the beast so this jack if you come here he will do something that is right here right because it's the special uh, and then you will have something around here so this number can be different mine the number can be different from yours because mine is level max when you start the game you have like two days if i'm not wrong uh of guaranteed level up on special right so you should abuse every time you can to raise your um units uh special level right you come on power up and you go to special level right and you have two ways to raise that three ways actually you will have books those books some of are the same color of the unit others uh, aren't these are like all obtainable like playing the game right the other one said about class you can see here this is for the class he is but the game are automatically will give you the shining ones right everything that is shining um to give to you to actually uh, rise the units if you try this one this is not going to work any other color is not going to work only those that are on the top glowing yellow is for you uh, the other two ways for rise is giving this type of food but again they are going to be here and the last one is going to give the same unit copy to the unit and that is a guaranteed no matter when you do that is a guaranteed level up on the special and why is that important because you can see the number that is here it says 14 right um that is the number of turns you have to wait until you gain his special so that is a mechanic around this game where you have to stall a little bit against some enemies uh but you should not die do, uh, doing that uh <laughs> and then you will have of course the special activate but that 
once again is going to be for another video <laughs> not this one some units just to finish already this video some units will have this icon here so you can press on him right and this will pop up so it says support effect on the top supportable characters it says which unit this unit can support and you will see the effect by the level you have your support right sometimes you don't have uh, the unit with that support but it does not matter what it matters is uh, when you're building your crew this type of unit they will be able to be introduced here this section right um, excuse me for that so you click on that little box and you will have a bunch of units or not depending on your time account and they will give certain stats or certain effects that is something that you will learn in time and of course i'm not going to explain that right uh let me just put another unit on the team just for you to understand something so as you can see the difference here oh hello i accidentally pressed on the on the on the on the camera so <laughs> good to good to see you i'm going to turn off bye bye so <laughs> sorry for that um i was saying you have here the captain right and then you have the crew so crew is one thing their captain abilities they are not going to be uh, affecting the crew right only the captain will affect the crew so pay attention when you are selecting units for your team uh, for, and check always the captain abilities so you know these units will have the matching effect from the captain so guys this is going to be for this video this is a little bit of the introduction i'm going to do in the further videos e the next video if you didn't saw this one you should see this one first uh because the other one will be about the mechanics in the game just for you to learn more about it and yeah guys i have nothing left to say i hope you did enjoy this video if you did leave a like don't forget to subscribe to join the crew See you guys on my next cruise. Bye-bye.